Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the weapon blueprint location for the Vector submachine gun because I know a lot of people have been asking about this because it is a very dominant weapon in PvP and that is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. But real quick before we jump into that, for those of you that go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss a few future upload. Almost 80% of you guys that are actually watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel, so if you're enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss another breakpoint upload. So now on to the Vector SMG. So if you go all the way up to the top of the map in the Cape North region, you will notice that there is a behemoth defense area up there where the Vector SMG is located, and I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to just get in and out because this is a level 200 behemoth that you would have to take down. I'm going to show you the really quick way to get in and out. All you got to do is use a little bit of drone spray spray on the drone spray run right past the behemoth jump in there and grab that weapon blueprint and the vector will be yours forever now moving on to the weapon itself we're going to run down through the attachments real quick so it has an extended mag as well as the standard magazine and a small magazine not sure why you'd want a small magazine on that weapon but it is what it is it also has the standard muscle a suppressor a compensator a flash hider as well as a muzzle break i am definitely going to be looking for that muzzle break to make this weapon a little bit better with the rail cover we have the maw laser the peq laser and the aptal times three laser my personal favorite is the maul that thing is absolutely sick with the sights we have the comp m4 the folding iron sight the mh1 sight the panoramic sight and the digital sight not sure why the digital sight there that's a little bit longer range we also have the lightweight vertical foregrip the shift vertical foregrip the under barrel rail that comes stock and we also have the tactical vertical foregrip so you will also notice that this is a mark 3 version because i have fully upgraded it and the passive bonuses here we have 10 plus reload speed as well as 10 reload speed after a kill and then if you get a mark 3 it is plus 3% movement speed with one enemy within 50 meters so this is definitely a little bit of a running gun class especially with the reload speed being that fast and this thing is an absolute mod you definitely have to control the recoil as you guys will see in this little bit of gameplay I have here and I really wish that we could put these submachine guns in a single shot mode but this thing I would definitely say to put in the burst mode because it does definitely increase the accuracy and it decreases the recoil a little bit and you can shoot it just as fast as you want so it's almost the same as having full auto if you absolutely wanted to but obviously it's going to have a lot less recoil being in burst mode but overall that's pretty much going to do it for the video I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of the vector location and kind of do a rundown of the attachments and stuff and how I had it setup. I know a lot of people were asking about this weapon because they wanted to use it in the Ghost War PvP, but like I said, that's all for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on the latest information surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the channel moving forward, but that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.